let us discuss the topic divide and conquer algorithm now what is a divide and conquer algorithm and let us propose one sample generic divide and conquer algorithm so here is the text it is its strategy suggests splitting the inputs into k distinct subsets where the value of k will be ranging from 1 to n yielding k sub problems these sub problems must be solved and then a method must be found to combine sub solutions into a solution of the whole that is the basic theme behind this divide and conquer algorithm strategy of divide and conquer algorithm says that the problem will be divided into sub problems and the problem will be divided in a such a small sub sub problems so that the solution for those sub problems can be obtained and then all the solutions of all the sub problems will be combined to get the solution of the main problem so that is the main theme behind this divide and conquer algorithm but sometimes it may happen that the solution against the sub problem is not available then we can apply the strategy of divide and conquer on the very sub problem again if the sub problems are still relatively large then divide and conquer strategy can be reapplied on the larger size of the sub problem to divide it to divide it into the smaller sizes of the sub problems so in this way the problem will be solved small p is a boolean valued function that determines whether the input size is small enough that the answer can be computed without splitting so small p is that very function which will be returning one boolean value and that will decide whether really the problem is solvable up to that size or not so that is a small p is a boolean valued function that determines whether the input size is small enough that the answer can be computed without further splitting so that is the basic theme behind this divide and conquer as an example we can consider our binary search algorithm we can consider our quick sort algorithm we can consider our marsh sort algorithm and so on we know that in case of marsh sort we go on dividing this array content into sub array sub array sub array in such a way that ultimately one sub array will be containing one data one data means it is already sorted now we shall merge two such sub arrays containing one data each so that i'll be getting one sub array containing two data they are sorted in this way the problem will be processed and then arrays with two data and two data will get merged so that you can construct one array sub array rather with four data sorted and in this way the problem will grow and ultimately n number of data will get sorted so th these are the basic themes in our divide and conquer algorithms now see this is a sample divide and conquer algorithm as follows algorithm divide and conquer it is taking p as input argument if small p then return solution p so if the p size is small enough because small is a function which will return the boolean if it returns true then that means the uh, problem can be uh, solved it is a solvable problem according to the size and then return solution of the problem else divide p into smaller instances p1 p2 p3 dot dot pk where k is greater than equal to 1 obviously and apply divide and conquer to each of these sub problems and then combined divide and conquer of p1 dot 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 divide and conquer algorithm on pk in this way i shall get the final solution of the whole problem and in this way the algorithm will terminate so divide and conquer algorithms will have such generic structure generic format uh, while writing the code so i think you are getting this idea in the next videos we'll be discussing more about such algorithms thanks for watching this one